So I was thinking about maybe not doing very many more plow videos this uh, season. I didn't think we'd get very much snow, but here we are. We got absolutely stepped on last night. We, uh, maybe about two days ago, we got about three inches of snow. And then last night we got a good six, seven inches and everywhere is snowed in. Like, it's, it's look, look, look at that. It's ridiculous. We're running out of places to put the snow. And then uh, I got a call at 7.30 this morning. Buddy's stuck plowing his own driveway out and I had to go give him a pull and give him a hand plowing just a little bit to, uh, to open it up a bit because we had so much snow. He has no places to put the snow and uh, he drives a Ford and there you go. That's That says a lot right there. Stuck, couldn't go anywhere, but <laughs> before everyone goes off the handle and you know starts bashing it's not too bad it's not the Ford's fault it's actually uh, I guess he has a, a sheared bolt on the exhaust and uh, so he's got a little bit of a leak and he's not really uh, building boost so not really uh, his fault not the Ford not the truck's fault but there he is stuck just happens to be in a Ford and good old Dodge pulling him out Ram. <laughs> All right, I'm just kidding a little bit. Ford's not bad. I'm actually bidding on a Ford right now at an auction, and uh, we'll see if that see if that comes to comes to happen. I don't know what's going to happen there. I'm looking for another work truck, and uh, nothing wrong with this truck, but this Ford, if I get it for the price that I want, it's a 2016. F-250 with a 6.7 uh, power stroke. It'd be a nice little upgrade. Wow. I use the term upgrade very loosely. It'll be a newer truck. That's that's about what I can say. I don't know if it's going to be an upgrade. That whole taking the cab off to do anything on your motor, I, I don't like that too much. But anyway, I'm just shooting the breeze, passing the time while I'm on my uh, way to my buddy's place. Jeff and Deanne from uh, Four Sons Homestead. He's stuck in his driveway. Same thing, same story over there. He's actually, he hasn't hit the ditch, but he's stuck in the driveway. He's hung up. And he has a skid steer, but uh, right now it's broken down. Needs an alternator, so uh, he's not very mobile right now. So I'm on my way there to give him, a, give him a pull and plow him out quick. Make sure him and his kitties can get out of there. All right, well, I'll see you in a bit. Change your name. Do you realize that you're... It's like, you look to put two and two together. Oh, That's why I gave you the look. <laughs> It's already recording. Up in the air. Oh, like this stuff. This. Do you want to? No. Oh, it doesn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Like that.
Is this your first fail video of the year? It's not a fail. It's a hero shot right there. <laughs> Go grab the shovels. I got shovels. That's one thing. If you're ever plowing and you're going to help a buddy out, make sure you bring two shovels so you can split the work. This is crazy. All right, she's out. That was brutal. We got a couple of berms over there. We got about eight inches of crusty snow that uh, that they've been driving over, and I kept popping through. I can't scrape it with the plow. It's just it's too much. I got stuck over here and uh, started having a a leak from my tranny cooler. It's either fine now or I pumped all the oil out. I guess we're gonna find out soon enough. Old Jeffrey's gonna need a snowblower or a skid steer or something. That's that how you say it's that. I quit. No more plowing. I'm done. All right, little update. Besides pumping out tranny fluid, I got a blown wheel bearing see that wheel at a sitting at an angle can't even limp it home this is a you're done dodge going forward just kidding <laughs> broken down at uh at my buddy's place got a blown wheel bearing which is making it have no brakes time to go get the truck i called the tow truck but they wanted like 250 bucks to tow it home to the shop here so i could do the wheel bearing so uh i called the cab and uh that was 124 dollars plus i tipped them 26 bucks i gave them 150 dollars so 150 dollar ride home to come and get that truck and uh, the flat deck so I can go get my plow truck, get it in the shop and change that wheel bearing. I'm getting really tired of this snow. This is getting brutal. All right, I gotta hook up this trailer.
gonna get old blue. She let me down. Well, not really. I knew that wheel bearing was going. I felt it uh, maybe two days ago. I was out plowing and uh, I a little felt a little something something. And sure enough, the day I need the truck the most, it breaks down. Now I got to get it in the shop tonight and fix it. Temperature's dropping fast. It's uh, well, it was a high today of like minus 10 or 11 Celsius. And uh, it's already minus 15. It's, go, it's supposed to go down to 40 below with uh, with the wind. So I don't want to leave this truck out outside overnight. I got to get it back to the shop and uh, change that wheel bearing. I'll load it up. No? Did you hold on to that wheel bearing? There's one chunk. Like, pretty sure. I gave you the other chunk, right? Here's what's falling out of the wheel bearing. Nice hunk of metal. Oh, there's the other there's, one. There's the other one. A little bit of scoring there. That's brutal. Right here, in case you can't see it on video. There's some scoring. Oh, yeah, there. yeah, yeah. I see that. Like it's actually cut. Yeah. Huh. All right. But you'll be able to weld that back together, right? No problem. Yeah. No problem. I know a guy. <laughs> That's definitely a MIG weld. <laughs> truck's back in the shop and it wasn't easy <laughs> trailer stuck trucks are stuck couldn't get up the hill to my shop so now I got to do a wheel bearing because this thing's about to fall off I think the only thing holding it on is the caliper it just so happens that I've got a wheel bearing right there brand new whoa just waiting for me all right hold on a second She is. Oops. These wheel bearings aren't very good. 
kind of a it's easy to change but kind of a bad design they're uh they're the weak spot on on this truck especially when i'm driving around with an 800 pound plow on it all all winter that's part of it Oh, it's supposed to fit.